Hello everybody, Tiju22 here, and welcome to another big day of championship wrestling, and, uh, well, that was just a little tribute to, uh, the great Lance Russell, uh, you can look him up, but, um, anyways, uh, this first match is gonna be a big match in terms of, uh, what's at stake, and you'll see what it is in just a moment, though. In fact, well, here he is right now, as we are live here in Orlando, Florida, and we have the internet champion. In fact, uh, I might even go as far as to say that he is the longest reigning internet champion of all time. Simply because of the fact that we introduced the new championship, or the, the championship itself rather, excuse me, uh, at the beginning of the season. And in its entire history, which has been since uh, the start of the season, he is the longest reigning internet champion of all time. So, the fact that the man holds on to it as long as he has, uh, that's, uh, as much as I don't like him personally, if only because of his association with the Ascension, uh, let, let's just say this, he is, I, I don't like him personally because of that reason, but I can't help but respect him. As he comes out to the French national anthem, being that he is wearing the uh, the jersey of the former Quebec Nordiques, and he takes on this man. In fact, here he is, and he's coming out with uh, his uh, well, his entourage, I guess you can say. I mean, there's other ways you can call the women. Uh, what a woman is referred to by a man, but uh, I digress, really. Uh, but, but the thing is, uh, this man, who happens to be the same guy who kicked me in the head a number of weeks ago, has been on a losing streak. I didn't want to say it uh, the last time he was on, but it's official. He's on a losing streak, and he may be uh, he may be high and mighty right now, but. Uh, I'm just going to say that he is taking on his own man. Both both he and uh, NHL are members of the Ascension, and let me just say this. Uh, they are going up against each other, and I'm not sure what the meaning of this is. I don't even know why it was booked. Uh, sometimes the board of directors don't tell me everything, but nevertheless, the thing about... Uh, this particular matchup is the fact that um, Durpanzano is defending his half of the tag team championships against NHL. And if NHL is successful in beating Durpanzano, then NHL becomes one half of the tag team champions. But if Durpanzano wins, then NHL loses the internet championship outright so that's what's at stake in this match and we begin with a clothesline on the NHL to begin the matchup so you have two members of the ascension fighting each other if only for pride and uh, I guess gold I guess I, I don't know Oh, and a punch with that left hand. I believe he had some brass knuckles, but the referee didn't see it. That's the thing about the referee. Sometimes he doesn't see things that, you know, one such as myself could see. And out goes Durpanzano, and already Durpanzano is in deep trouble here. Uh, however... Uh, this is not a Falls Count Anywhere match. This is just a normal match. <sighs> uh, I had something on my nose. Of course, these two men know each other very well, so, uh, yes. Thrown shoulder first into the turnbuckle. 
was NHL. And a release German suplex onto Derpenzano. So, yeah, tell me what you think about two guys from the same team fighting each other. I, I really want to get your thoughts because I just find it very strange that they are doing this, but I, I, I don't know. I mean, uh, it's just how it came about, I don't know. And a back body drop, but still on the apron. All but a drop kick that sends uh, Derpenzano on the outside again. I mean, right now, Derpenzano is, uh, like I said, he, he comes into this match uh, with a losing streak. So, a, a victory over his own man, NHL, would do wonders for him, really. But for NHL, I mean, this is his chance to become one half of the tag team champions, uh, along with Jake the Snake within the Ascension. And a tie-up which NHL wins considerably because, well, he's just a little bit stronger than Derpenzano. He's a little taller, but just by a little bit, though. Thrown into the ropes? Nope. And, whoa, wait a minute. A reverse swing neckbreaker. Okay, that's it. I forgot the name of that move for a little bit, but just the fact that I haven't seen it in a while, I... Ooh, what a left hook onto Derpenzano. Right now, he is getting his butt kicked, and look at this. On another left hook, right to the face of Derpenzano. Oh, but a rope break. That, that might have been the only thing that stopped him. And What the heck was that? Folks, I'm, I'm hearing things. Wow. I have to say, the noise uh, in the back is just... Okay, well, it's gone, though. But that was really weird. It just came out of nowhere, folks. Uh, anyway, while that was happening, Dropanzano in a uh, torture rack. And he better find a way to get out of this. Otherwise, he's going to have to tap out here. Is he? I said, is he? Yes, he is. And with that said... NHL is now the new, is now one half of the tag team champions, and Derpenzano will take over as the internet champion, but congratulations to uh, NHL. You know, if I had known that Derpenzano was going to go out, was going to go through a drought, I, I, I don't know what I, you know... If I had known he was going to struggle as much as he has, uh, I, I probably, you know, I'm just disappointed because I thought, you know, he would, you know, maintain his uh, winning ways, but I don't know. I mean, he's under a losing streak right now, but for NHL, he is the new, or the, he is now one half of the tag team champions now, and, uh... Derpenzano is now uh, the internet champion now. But folks, we still got more matches yet to come, so stay tuned. They'll be coming up right after this.